Merhaba. Hello, my name is Johara Gemma. Today, I'm speaking for the animals. I will be talking to you about dog sled race. Yes. This is a sport that we often see during the winter time. Snow, winter, the chimney, and all that stuff, right? Well, it is not happy for the dogs as they portray it is on TV. Once you know the hidden truth and how these lead dogs live and how they are being treated, this will change your mind about this sport. These lead dogs live a very hellish life when they are not led. They are often chained to their own plastic dog houses living in patches of dirt, laying down in their own urine and feces, susceptible to the elements and dangerous wildlife. A perfect example of this is that a pack of chain dogs used for sled pulling in Alaska was attacked by an ox. Owners of these sled pulling dogs admit that they care very little about their dogs and are de often denied adequate food, shelter, and veterinary care. In April 2010, 2010 100 dogs had their throats slid or were shot. Yeah, you heard me correct. Shot because their owners no longer needed them. So please, I urge everyone, do not support this deadly sport. Dogs are companion animals, and in many cases have even saved their owner's life. They have also saved children's lives in many cases. Dogs can also help the vision impaired. They can also help the physically disabled and in many cases work along police officers. Did you know that dogs are the only animal who understands when you call them by their name? Something for you all to think about. And this really I find it really sad. Um, I myself own a sled dog, which he would be pulling a sled if he didn't live in Miami. Um, he's a white Siberian husky, albino, and I will show him in another video so you can meet my dog. And uh, my daughter has two dogs, uh, which are two toy poodles. I also have a miniature pincher, so we have a total of four dogs, so I find this very sad for anyone not to love their dog. I couldn't imagine, I just could not imagine that as a dog owner. So please, I'm just creating public awareness and letting everyone know that this shouldn't happen. Dogs don't deserve to be treated this way. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Tumblr. And don't forget to subscribe. Leave comment down below. Don't forget, until next week, join me, Johara Gemma, in Speaking for the Animals. Salam. Peace. Bye-bye.